Jeremy here and I'm Ocean Bound. I'm heading to Nahant today. The waves were good at Nahant yesterday. The wind was kind of building all night and then it just kind of dropped off as we got this rain system in. I know the waves will be good. I'm just not sure how the wind's gonna be. It's supposed to be good all day. It'll be like 20 average across the board, but it's only blowing like 15, 16 right now. So, ah, I'm a little bummed because I really, 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 really want to be riding that 580 foil because it's so awesome. 580 just has me stoked. How can I be on something so freaking small and how can it have so much lift and it's still small and it's like agile, like a small wing, but it still has a ton of lift. It just blows my mind. And it's, you know, I rode it with a 205 tail, which gives it a little bit more of like a smooth locked in feeling. And I loved it. So there's something about the last session. It just felt a little chaotic in ways. The wind was all over the place. I'm hopeful that today is going to be a little more subdued and I can really just like focus on riding the crap out of that 580 because that's all I want to do. Today is really, I really just want to carve. And you know what? The one thing I have learned through all of my winging career and especially in the last couple of sessions you can't get your hopes up too much because if you get your hopes up too much you're just gonna get let down and so today is just one of those days that can easily go either direction so I just have my fingers crossed and I'm hoping that it's gonna be a pretty good session and I think it I think it's gonna be good so yeah it's a wave sesh a little light hopefully that's okay mantis 580 205 tail totally stoked let's flip this around see what Nahant looks like here we go Check it out. Okay, these waves are pretty intense. <laughs> Ton of white water, more so than yesterday. It's gonna be a challenge. And there there shall be rewards to those who get who break through. <laughs> but uh, this is cool. I mean we're here, so we're gonna hit it. Looks pretty good. Let's get suited up. No. Stokes, not so stoked. Dude, this is insane. Eight footer. Oh my god, dude. This <laughs> is so good. So over my head. My god, dude, these things are huge! See? Oh. I think the wind just came down. I don't have anything. That's not a good spot to be in.
what's up everybody? It's good to be alive. It's good to be back. Uh, that was gnar, it was crazy. Man, I can't even like explain. The waves were easily nine, 10 feet. So like, oh, like not double overhead, but one, not one Jeremy, definitely one and a half Jeremy's. They were all over the place. There were some that were breaking so far out. There were steep ones. And I mean, I only rode a handful of them. I'm not lying. I, I mean, like that session was hard. It was difficult. I had these like epic thoughts that I'm like, oh, this is going to be so sick. Yesterday was sick. And like today the waves are going to be even better and bigger and more spaced out. It's just not the way it was. The whitewater walls were just like everywhere and they were so big. The wind kept coming down. Mike said that at one point, I think the wind was at like 16 to 18. It's just hard to get on foil when I'm gassed with that 580 and a four and a half meter at like 16 to 18. Like there was no like shredding today. Like I was like to totally trying to have my wits about me. I'd be riding this like pretty good one. And then you just start to hear this like and you're like, what is that? And I <laughs> you can look back and the wave behind me is like already just like this huge whitewater wall. And I'm just like, oh, this is great. There were at least, I don't know, four or five waves that I was just standing there. There was like, there wasn't enough wind to get on foil and this like wall came at me and I'm like, oh geez, what am I gonna do? There were at least four waves that I was in the water or on the board that I had to throw my wing as high as I possibly could to get it over the wave. And one of them, this huge wave came I, and it was all white water. I was just like, oh, I'm gonna get so screwed. And I go through all of that and I'm like getting tumbled and I come out the other side and I'm like, GoPro's gone. <laughs> but oh, I had the mount in my mouth, but the GoPro was gone. And I've never had that happen. The screw came out of my GoPro. I was like, where's the GoPro? I'm looking all around. And then I get up on foil finally. Like there was a lull then, I get up on foil. I, I rode like another wave, I fell. I was like trying to get my stuff together. I like out of the corner of my eye, I see something orange, boom, my GoPro. But it was like right in the impact zone. And I was like, crap, man, I have to get in. So I had to get into the impact zone. And that, I mean, it was fine. But somehow I was able to get my GoPro, get back on board, and then I, I couldn't get back on foil, but I was heading out and there was just like this like beautiful lull in the waves and it was gorgeous. And I was like, so there's like, someone's looking after me because they just allowed me to get my GoPro and get my, just get back onto my feet and get out of the impact zone. So, woof! That was cool. Thanks for coming along with me. I do appreciate it. I'm so thankful to have my GoPro back. I'm so thankful to be live. I'm so thankful that you guys are watching. So if you want to see some more of my videos and you haven't done so already, you can click the subscribe button or not. No pressure there. Definitely drop me a comment. Let me know if you've had any NARS sessions lately or what you think. That was a 580 session. I'm, I'm pretty stoked on the 580, but it was just not the session that I wanted to enjoy it. And with that, I hope every single one of you are doing well out there. I'll see you soon on the flip, and I wish you all an awesome day. Later. <laughs>